So, for my takeoff on the Jaws movie poster, uh, of course, we have Gwen that we used. And uh, we'll add a wig on her there, and that one takes. So I'll remove that. And then uh, the main character, of course, is the little Vicky shark, brilliantly designed shark. So, uh, let's bring him into play here. And of course, that's really our main elements. Uh, most of the hard work, probably, it was very easy in iClone to get everything laid out. It was probably uh, more done in Photoshop as far as compositing the various elements that I used to make the poster uh, come together. Okay, so basically we have our Gwen and our wonderful Will Vicky Shark. And uh, it's really not going to be too important to arrange everything in iClone, at least for, for my purposes, uh, like the poster, because basically what I ended up doing was posing each object pretty much separately and then uh, bringing it into Photoshop, as you'll see in a second. So one thing you need to do is to, uh, get the swimming motion for Gwen. I was able to find an old BVH file, which... Uh, gave me a swimming motion so basically I just found pretty close to the uh, pose that I needed for Gwen's uh, hands and uh, motion here let's see right about something along that line is about where I, uh, I utilized so I'm just going to uh, remove all the animation I made a few tweaks on the head and the arm and changed the legs a little bit but basically I uh, just positioned her full frame and uh, did a separate render uh, of Gwen uh, for her pose as the swimmer and filled the frame and made a nice large uh, j ping file or JPEG file. I used a ping because I wanted to have the background drop out. So positioned her and got her position right and uh, then got the shark and uh, got his position where I wanted him. Uh, in that upward position like so and rendered another large uh, ping file. Uh, when you render a ping, when you export a ping, uh, just be sure to uh, click right up here. Uh, let's go over here to image. want to render an image. So we click image and I'll select ping and go to the advanced tab and select 32-bit that will render an alpha channel for that image and basically what's going to happen is the background will be invisible and be transparent so I'll have just the shark position there uh, another thing I did uh, rendered separately uh, was some bubbles so uh, I got uh, over here to set and particles and I had some bubbles that I did a long time ago for a lab that I created and so I positioned my bubbles and uh, rendered a still frame of some bubbles and grabbed that once again as a ping image and then uh, once I got all my elements together then I went into Photoshop okay now here we are in Photoshop and pretty much uh, any paint program that allows you to do layers uh, will work fine we've got our layers over here uh, here's the original poster uh, that I used as a basis for laying out everything and then basically I just started with a, a white background and uh, used a color layer just created a layer uh, that's close to the color I needed uh, I added another layer that gave me some texture I used uh, one of the filters in Photoshop called sponge created a little uh, variation in the water then I created another layer that gave me so I just used the airbrush and uh, created some dark areas so things would uh, look a little different wouldn't be totally smooth and then uh, added the shark now uh, we talk about rendering uh, a ping and this is a ping file now I'm gonna turn the other layers off and you'll see the uh, what the ping really does uh, I added some transparency to that one let's go ahead and bring him up full but you can see uh, that the shark is uh, all the background area is transparent so it allows me to add layers in the background 
and uh, that's very very helpful I did make the shark somewhat transparent so it looks like he's kind of behind the water there so I just adjusted that in Photoshop then added the bubbles there we've got a bubble layer once again a ping uh, added Gwen in and then I wanted to add some uh, thrashing about so once again just using the brush in Photoshop just created some uh, thrashing of the water uh, added a few little bubbles here uh, and then the final title and uh, the white background there and pretty much got what I needed uh, I did, uh, yeah, I turned off that layer there. Uh, I used the uh, smear tool and created the unevenness there in the water in Photoshop. So composited everything in Photoshop uh, right out of iClone. So I hope that gives you an idea of how uh, easily you can do the same type of thing.